Okay, this is the Ekman dredge, and we're going to show you how to assemble the uh, optional five foot handle with plunger. Um, you start by attaching the two bottom pieces, and this piece is milled out, so you're going to actually fill that or attach that right there. And you're going to put the top piece through the two springs, kind of twist it sideways so that it fits flush like that. Then you're actually going to bring the handle over and put both screws through. And it's just held on with two wing nuts. Those nice and tight. Okay, so now we've got it attached. It works real similar to the, the regular standard uh, messenger system, but instead you've got a plunger that's going to actually trigger those spring-loaded handles. So if you could hold that for me, right? We'll show you how to trip the jaws again on this. Um, you're going to want to do one jaw at a time. Just pull up, and there is a lot of tension, so it's kind of difficult, but you pull up. I like to hold on like that and then I'll wrap this around that trigger mechanism real slowly. Now you've got that side open. I'm going to twist it around and do the same to the other side. Try not to trip the jaws closed. Okay. Now one last thing I like to do before I take a sample, I like to kind of manipulate these so they go down a little ways. So that when you trigger it, you know for sure those both jaws are going to close simultaneously. Okay. And we'll walk over here and try and grab a sample with it. Okay, now we're sitting on the bottom. Those jaws are open and all we're going to do is we're going to give it one slap and plunge it and they're going to close. We've got, both of them did trigger. Quite a bit of soil. Sample. And that's the optional five foot handle.